Hello, everyone. I am Zheng Gang from Huawei. It is a great honor to share the FlexPond technology with you. Today, my sharing includes three parts. One, why FlexPond is required. Two, technical principles of FlexPond. Three, suggestions on the application and evolution of FlexPond. First, let's look at why FlexPond is required. The GPON technology has been widely used in access networks. How to upgrade a network from GPON to 10GPON is a challenge for operators. Currently, 10GPON is costly to deploy. Therefore, operators require cost-effective terminals that are compatible with the current GPON and can also be upgraded to the future 10GPON. As we know, current GPON boards can only connect GPON ONUs. The 10GPON asymmetrical mode can only connect 10GPON ONUs in asymmetrical mode. The 10GPON symmetric mode can connect 10GPON ONUs in symmetric and asymmetrical modes. A 10GPON asymmetrical combo board can connect GPON and 10GPON ONUs in asymmetrical mode. A 10GPON symmetric combo board can connect GPON and 10GPON ONUs in asymmetrical mode and connect 10GPON ONUs in symmetric mode. So many types of boards are a waste of investment for operators. Huawei has launched a new FlexPond board which integrates all five modes. In different modes of the board, different optical modules can be installed to implement port-based modes. This FlexPond technology saves customers' investment and retains the same O&M experience as that of the original networks. Now, let's talk about the technical principles of FlexPond. Key technologies of FlexPond are multi-mode DBA and MAC chips developed by Huawei. Multi-mode DBA and MAC chips work with different types of optical modules to provide five access modes, including GPON, XGPON, XGSPON, XGPON Combo, and XGSPON Combo. The following four modes support 10 gigabits per second. They must be used together with the 10G RTUs. In the initial phase, a customer can use GPON optical modules to implement the GPON mode. Later, the customer can use the 10 GPON RTU and 10 GPON optical modules to provide the 10 gigabits per second access rate. Last, here are some suggestions on FlexPON planning. There are two solutions to evolve from GPON to 10 GPON. In solution A, FlexPON boards and GPON optical modules are used. In this way, only the GPON ONTs need to be installed at the initial phase. In solution B, FlexPON boards and 10 GPON symmetric combo, XGS PON combo optical modules are used. In this way, also only the GPON ONTs can be connected in the initial phase. To upgrade a network to 10G PON, solution A requires two steps. First, replace GPON optical modules with 10G PON symmetric or 10G PON symmetric combo optical modules. Then, add the 10G RTU. The upgrade from solution B to 10G PON is simpler. The optical modules do not need to be replaced. You only need to add a new 10G PON RTU to connect to new 10G PON ONUs. So much for today. Looking forward to your suggestions and comments.